Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night whenever you are watching this. Today I'm making some homemade shawarmas which, is, which are very very easy and simple to make. So let's get started. Here in a bowl I have about two pounds of chicken thigh meat and uh, to, in a different bowl I have uh, one tablespoon of garlic. To that I'm going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil and to that I'm going to add about one third of a cup of uh, yogurt and uh, after adding uh, my yogurt I'm going to add uh, one tablespoon of um, lemon juice and one tablespoon of uh, white vinegar which i have both in here so i'm going to add that in there next and to that i'm going to add a bunch of um, spices so i have uh, one teaspoon of each salt black pepper um, coriander powder cumin powder onion powder um, and paprika i have half a teaspoon of red chili powder uh, if you want um, it a little bit more hotter, you can uh, definitely add more. Uh, mix that well and uh, set that aside. Next, um, I'm going to pound the chicken thighs a little bit. Uh, so um, I have um, a cling wrap here and um, I'm going to spread that on the counter. Add the um, chicken wings on there, fold it over. Um, cut the um, bit off and then just uh, pound it down well to just make it a little bit um, flatter and then add those to the um, spices uh, marinade mixture so um, after adding it give it a good mix and um, after uh, mixing it it's best to uh, refrigerate it overnight but if you want to make it the same day then um, just uh, refrigerated for a couple of hours if you can um, next I'm going to uh, make the um, sauce mixture so here I'm grating uh, one small um, cucum cucumber and um, after grating it um, I'm just gonna leave it in there and add a little bit of salt in there and um, set it aside uh, for maybe 10-15 minutes after the 10-15 minutes, I'm going to um, just rinse it in there um, and then strain it. After straining it, make sure you squeeze out every little bit of water that is in there. Um, try to squeeze out as much as you can. Now add your cucumber to um, a bowl. And um, to that, we're going to add a few other ingredients to make the sauce. So um, here I have uh, a teaspoon of uh, minced garlic, a little bit of um, chopped uh, coriander, about two tablespoons, and a tablespoon of mint. And I added half a teaspoon of cumin powder. And uh, now I'm going to add um, the greens and the garlic. After adding that, I'm going to add um, some yogurt in there. Now for this recipe, um, I needed about three fourths of a cup of yogurt, but I was out of yogurt and I only had about half a cup. So um, the sauce may not look like it should. So, um, and then I squeeze about a tablespoon of um, lemon juice in there and uh, sprinkle just a tiny little bit of salt as well because uh, even though I added salt to the cucumber after rinsing it, it was, you know, most of it was all out. So give that a mix and set it aside. Now this is what I'll be using for the topping. So um, have that ready and um, have your pan ready and add your chicken thighs, marinated chicken thighs to the pan. Um, you can definitely air fry them you can uh, make them in the oven it's all up to you so um, i'm going to leave them for about uh, five to six minutes on medium high heat and uh, then turn them over 
After turning them over, I like to um, cover them for a little bit. I mean, you don't have to, but I like to. And um, um, you can definitely grill these as well. So I covered them for the next five to six minutes. And after that, I took the lid off and uh, just turned them over one more time and uh, for just a couple of minutes. And um, your um, shawarma meat is now ready. I'm going um, to take them out on a chopping board because um, we need to cut these into smaller pieces. Uh, so take them out and uh, you can cube them, you can cut them into um, long strips or you can shred them. I mean, it's definitely up to you. So today I'm just going to cut them into um, strips and um, after cutting those, uh, set those aside and then we're going to go to the next step, uh, which is assembling them. I also um, did one batch in the air fryer so you have that option too if you want to uh, cook your chicken in the air fryer and here I'm using the same pan to heat up um, the bread that I'm using so I have uh, Greek pita that I'm uh, going to use for the shawarma today you can use any bread of your choice it's all up to you um, so here um, I have everything ready and now we're going to go ahead and um, assemble them. I'm going to add one uh, tablespoon of the sauce on the um, pita. So spread it evenly and then add uh, your toppings. So I'm going to add my lettuce first. And then I'll add a good amount of um, chicken. And uh, then it goes on top the um, tomatoes and the onions uh, so there you have it your um, healthy homemade shawarma um, and um, it tastes tasted so much better than it looked so it's it was mouth-watering so good so yummy and sh so delicious so let's make one more now um, if you're just serving one per person then it's going to serve about seven to eight people and uh, if you're serving uh, two pitas per person, then it's a serving of four. I'm only going to make four of these. And there you have it. Um, if you want to serve these with some uh, potato wedges on the side or some fries, it's definitely up to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please like, share and subscribe. And uh, stay connected uh, for more recipes to come.